Subclass 9, exercise 6.1, chapter 6, exercise 6.1, first question. In figure 6.15, lines A, B, and C, D intersect at O. If A, O, C plus B, O is given 70 degree. So it's given here. Angle A, O, C plus angle B, O, E is 70 degree. And angle B, O, D is given 40 degree. So we have to find here to find angle B O E and reflex of angle C O E that we are going to find out. So the solution. So you can see the diagram here. Angle A O C plus C O E plus B O E. This total is 180 degree because it's a linear part. Okay, A O B is a line. We can write here AOP is a line. So therefore we can say angle AOC plus COE plus BOE equal to 180 degree. So angle AOC plus BOE is given 70 plus angle COE equal to 180 degree. Therefore angle COE equal to 180 minus 70 so angle CO is 110 degree so we got now CO is 110 and BOD is given here 40 okay so actually we are going to find BOE so that's we are going to find this one so again we'll take this total is 180 degree we can take the same thing because COD is a line okay so now again COD is a line so we can say angle COE plus BOE plus BOD equal to 180 so COE is we got now 110 and BOE we are going to find out and BOD 40 degree equal to 180 therefore angle BOE plus 110 plus 40 150 equal to 180 degree therefore angle BOE equal to 180 minus 150 so is 30 degree so BOE is 30 degree okay so now again we are going to find angle uh, reflex of angle COE reflex of angle COE so angle COE reflex of angle COE means totally is 360 so 360 degree minus angle COE so 360 minus COE we got 110 so if you subtract this to 360 minus 110 so it will be 200 40 degree okay sorry 250 degree so that's entry now question number two in figure 6.16 line x y and m and intersect at o if angle p o o is 90 degree okay this is 90 degree and a is to b is 2 is to 3 find angle c okay so now here uh, given angle P O Y is given 90 degree and A is to B is given 2 is to 3 to find C okay I'm going to find C now so now here we know X O X O is a line so solution X O Y is a line so that we can say angle X O P plus angle P O Y equal to 180 degree. So this is A X O P means this two. So A plus B we can write and P O Y is 90 degree is given equal to 180. Therefore angle therefore A plus B equal to 180 minus 90. So A plus B is 90 degree. Okay. And now again and here is given a is to b equal to 2 is to 3 that means you can say a equal to 2x we can take and b equal to 3x so now we just got a plus b is 90 so apply here 2x plus 3x equal to 90 so 5x equal to 90 therefore x equal to 90 by 5 will be 18 so x equal to we got 18 now okay so now again you can see this one line m o n 
M O N is a line. That means again what we can see B plus C equal to 180 degree. It's a linear term. Okay. So B is actually we have to 3x and C we are going to find out x we got 18 just now so c equal to 19 so 3 into 18 is 54 plus c equal to 180 degree therefore c equal to 180 minus 54 so if you subtract we'll get the answer okay so it's 6 plus 2 126 degree so c equal to 126 okay so that's over next question number three in figure angle pqr equal to angle prq pqr prq so these two angles are equal and again so here angle pqr plus angle pqs equal to 180 degree it's a linear term And again, this side. This side also we can take this total angle PRT plus angle PRQ equal to 180 degree. That's the same linear curve. Okay. And by these two, you can just take this the first one and this is the second one. So comparing one and two, what we can see? Comparing one and two, both the left hand sides are equal. Is it? The right hand sides are equal, so that means these two will be equal. So we can say here angle PQR plus angle PQS equal to angle PRT plus angle PRQ. Okay, so here again angle PQR equal to what's given in the question PQR equal to PRQ. So we can write here PRQ plus angle PQS equal to PRT plus PRQ will be the same thing. So we can cancel now PRQ, PRQ will cancel. So what's left? PQS equal to PRT. So that's a proof. Okay. So we can write answer last. Therefore, PQS equal to PRT. Okay. Therefore, PQS equal to angle PRT. And it's proved. Next question number four x y x plus y equal to w plus z is given prove that it will be is a line okay the figure is given so prove so you're given x plus y equal to w plus z and we know this complete angle is number degree this whole together if you take if you take all together it's a complete angle complete angle is 360 degree okay so that means you can say x plus y plus w plus z all together 360 degree okay so x plus y we'll just keep the same thing w plus z equal to x plus y equal to 360 so that means 2x 2y equal to 360 so we'll now we'll take two common here if we take two common here x plus y equal to 360 okay we are taking two outside so x plus y equal to 360 so therefore x plus y equal to 360 divided by 2 so x plus y equal to 180 degree so x plus y is 180 and x plus y equal to w plus z what are equal equal to 180 so if it's 180 degree means it's a linear part so we can say therefore we can say a o b is a line okay that's a proof next question number five Given P O Q is a line array O R perpendicular to line P Q. So O R perpendicular to P Q. We have to prove angle R O S half of angle Q O S minus angle P O S. Okay. So proof. And here you can see just take it first to take Q O S. So we'll take Q O S here. Q O S how we can write from the diagram Q O S. That means this one plus this one. We can write angle Q O R plus angle R O S okay this is the first one and again second one angle P O S 
POS how you can write from the diagram POS means only this much so that means what we'll do they will take the whole one and we'll subtract this one so we'll take angle POR the whole one minus angle ROS okay POR means everything ROS if you subtract we'll get the remaining same this one POS so what the same one now we'll subtract this one and two so subtracting one and two angle QOS minus angle POS equal to again this one angle QOR plus ROS bracket minus angle POR minus angle ROS okay so QOS will be same minus POS equal to angle QOR QOR is is how much here and just get it for to write it QOR angle QOR plus angle ROS minus will multiply minus multiply inside angle POR again minus minus is plus ROS okay minus will go here minus POR minus into minus plus here if you didn't put bracket the answer won't get so answer is very important this bracket and now again here angle QOS minus POS equal to QOR is how much QOR that is 90 TP and ROS plus ROS we can write 2 ROS minus POR is POR also 90 TP okay so we can cancel this 90 90 we can cancel so that means what we can write ROS equal to 2 if you bring down 1 by 2 so ROS 1 by 2 of QOS minus POS so that's answer so we'll write one more line here therefore angle we can write now therefore we can write 2 angle ROS equal to I'm just changing the place 2 ROS equal to QOS minus POS so ROS will just keep it here 2 bring down will come 1 by 2 angle QOS minus POS hence proved okay so that's answer now question number six the last question it's given that xyz is 64 angle xyz is 64 degree and xy produced to point b so we'll draw a line here okay so x y and z is 64 and x y produced to point b p draw a figure from the given information if ray y q if you take y q ray y q bisect z y p bisect means we know these two are equal if you take this is a this is also a both are same find angle x y q and reflex of angle q y p okay so x y z is 64 and y q bisect angle z y p so that means we can say angle z y q equal to uh, p y q equal to a we are just taking here a okay this is a we am just taking here and we are going to find to find angle x y q and reflex of angle q y p that we are going to find out so now we know this total is x y p is a line solution x y p is a line so we can say angle x y z plus angle z y p total is 180 degree so xyz is 64 z y p that means a plus a will be 2a equal to 180 therefore 2a equal to 180 minus 64 so a equal to subtract this to 116 divided by 2 so a equal to 58 degree. so a we got now 58 degrees so that means z y q we are going to find to find z y q is it so z y q is Sorry, x y q we are going to find so we'll take x uh, z y q is a we took and x y z is 64 we'll add these two okay 
so angle x y q equal to angle x y z plus angle z y q is it x y q means this one plus this one so 64 plus a so 64 plus a we got 58 degree 58 degree we got a here so we'll just add these two so it'll be how much 12 so 122 degree that is uh, angle x y q again we are going to find the reflex of angle q y p okay so reflex reflex of angle q y p equal to what will say reflex of q y p means we'll take total is 360 is it so 360 minus q y p is q y p that is a so 360 minus a is 58 so we'll subtract now so 300 to d so therefore reflex angle q y p equal to 302 degree and angle x y q equal to 122 degree okay so exercise 6.1 over